Okay, guys, here we go. We got another ZR1500 we're going to start working on today. Steve's uh, starting to disassemble everything. Got to get the stock 350 and the stock trans out. Guys, this setup is already spoken for. This is a customer's truck. He is keeping this stuff. So don't be bugging me. Ask me uh, how much for the engine and all that stuff, <laughs> So, which I'll still get those. But uh, we're So anyways, on this one, we are doing an LT5 crate engine, uh, which is basically impossible to find right now but we got a brand new lt5 crate engine brand new 10 speed this one's getting a level 3 uh qa1 suspension kit so full coilovers powder coated frame i mean this thing's getting it all guys uh we already had the truck fully rotisserie painted cab off uh bed off um zeus bronze metallic this is a 2020 and 2021 c8 corvette color which is pretty cool the truck has been at classic car studios in St. Louis getting the interior all done. And this is pretty special right here. It's uh, everything in this truck is fully OEM Porsche leather wrapped. It smells like a brand new car in here. Uh, everything's leather wrapped. The dash is leather wrapped. This is leather wrapped. Door panels, we got suede here, leather here. All this is leather. All this that I'm touching right now is OEM leather. You can even see the stitching down in there. Check out the suede headliner. Um, these are, this is a factory bench seat. This guy wanted a bench seat, so we uh, we had a factory bench seat. Classic Car Studios went through and reupholstered this. We got suede inserts, leather on the outside. Let me uh, show you guys. We did a, even did the stereo in this one. So we got two kicker subs back here. We got an amp. Everything's powering it all up, which is pretty cool. We are going to be changing the steering wheel out for the build specialties and the paddle shifts, but we got the brand new Dakota cluster in there. Got the kicker audio head unit, which I like because it kind of has like the OEM shape and look, but it, it doesn't. And then here, instead of just leaving this, uh, you know, like an open space, they went ahead and closed that in for us, which is pretty cool. But uh, this is all what the customer wanted, wanted this color. And honestly, I think the color looks just killer with the Zeus bronze metallic. It kind of gives it that 90s look, but this is all brand new material and it, it feels really nice in here. Got the speakers down there and the and the kick panels, which turned out really, really good. Guys, this is, a, this is probably a $25,000, $26,000 interior by the time it's all said and done. But the quality that they did for us um, is just unbelievable, honestly. Um, so we're real happy with that. This this thing is going to be just over the top when it's all said and done. Um, we got some custom signature forged uh, wheels coming for it that are going to just look awesome. Um, but yeah, th this is going to be probably by far our most expensive OBS build to date and the most intense and really check all the boxes. We did the paint. We did the interior we're doing the frame, suspension, wheels, the engine, the trans. So this one's literally getting everything that you can possibly do from start to finish. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. I'm really excited to get this truck done. We've, we've had this truck here at the shop for over a year. It was getting painted for a while. Then it was getting interior done. So, you know, we haven't really had the truck in here for a long time, but it's been with us for a long time. So it still feels to me like we just got this truck like, like a week ago. So it's uh, pretty cool to see it in the shop. And uh, Steve's going to do another killer build on this thing. Um, this will be uh, ZL slash ZR truck number four um, that we have done. So we're pretty excited. We got two more on the books after this. We got a white one we're doing as soon as this one's done with the full ZL 1500 level three package. Um, this was obviously the ZR 1500, which is the LT5 engine. Um, and then I actually have a uh, source. I have another LT5 crate lined up that I can go pick up uh, this week. So uh, we might do another uh, LT5 ZR truck, which that'll make three of those in existence. So. Pretty cool to see these things come together. Guys, this one is gonna be one that uh, I am gonna be filming some build videos on uh, just because it's it's different than what we um, have done in the past. And uh, we'll make sure uh, we film a lot of footage for you guys. That way you guys can uh, watch the, the build come along. But this one's gonna be really special. Steve, what do you think about this one? 
This one's gonna be it. This this it's one getting all the nice parts. No no money spared on this one. Yeah, it's <laughs> this thing. I know guys, you look at it right now and you're like, wow, I mean, how are they gonna make it? Just just watch. I'm gonna, you know, in the next month, probably month and a half, this thing is gonna look just unbelievable underneath the hood. Um because we redo everything. And when I say everything, on this truck we are replacing everything. So this one's getting a little shop, 16 inch front and rear yep. brakes, which we've never done 16s on the back before, but it's getting the big brakes on the back. This one's got the interior, the stereo, the yeah. paint. Guys, the whole, under, the whole underneath this truck was all smoothed and painted just like this. He, he even painted the inside of the cab, even though you'll never ever see it, but it's done. So yeah, full interior was pulled out, full color change. Yeah, so I mean, if anyone were to tear down this truck down the road, they would think that this thing just came from the factory painted this color because there is legit no red anywhere on this truck. He even painted the inside of the doors. <laughs> so yep. it's pretty cool. Uh, thank, big props to Pete for uh, getting this truck painted for us uh, last year. He did a great job. And then uh, we're obviously, when it's all done, guys, this thing's going to KC Detailing and getting the, the full sauce treatment. And it's going to look... Oh, yeah. This thing's going to look awesome. And Steve, and I'm excited. I'm excited to get the signature forged wheels on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something different. Oh, yeah. Same specs, 20-inch wheels. Yep. They're going to have that yeah. full, uh, that new finish on. They look fully polished, but it's yeah. easy to clean. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be nice. Yeah. It's really going to pop once we do the lid to kind of tie it all together. Yeah. That'll be sick. I think so, too. Yeah, guys, we're going to be doing some special stuff to in integrate the interior color with some of the engine bay stuff. It's going to look really cool. Yeah. And, uh... You know, this truck, at the end of the day, he'll be able to take it to shows, win shows, and when he leaves, he'll be able to do burnouts as long as he wants to yeah. down the street and pretty much beat anyone that pulls up next to him. Yeah, freaking take it to a road course. Yeah, road course it, drag <laughs> race it, roll race it. Floor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a tire and some shock adjustments, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, we'll let Steve get back to work yeah. on this thing. It's the beginning. It's the beginning <laughs> stages, the most fun. But at the end of the day, the cab will probably be off this thing. The freaking bed will probably be off. The engine will be ready to come out. So we'll let Steve yeah. do his thing. And guys, I know we've had this car on uh, a couple of videos in the past, but this is Curtis's car. This is a 20, 2005 Mustang, and he did a full Gen 3 Coyote and 10R ADE transmission uh, in the car. It's got headers on it. It's got a blower. This car's probably gonna make like 900 horse, and literally, when you close the hood, it looks like a stock 2005 Mustang GT with some wheels on it. Uh, but right now, Steve's, or uh, not Steve, but uh, Curtis is gonna have to upgrade the fuel system on there. We got the Aeromotive, but we need to do uh, fuel rails, so that way we can do dual lines up to it, um, just to supply more fuel. He was uh, doing some pulls earlier, and, and uh, it was kind of dropping pressure on him, so we'll get that all done. But Curtis got this thing running, drives perfect. We'll go for a ride here once he gets it all dialed in. Got Nemo ready for the big race this weekend down at Streetcar Takeover Bradenton. Got the new Mickeys, new some new Mickeys on. Get some, uh, get some new oil in it. Got our uh, bump box installed now. Got the uh, five point harnesses in. Just kind of went over everything. Everything looking good though. guys are new to the channel uh, this is my 2019 ZL1 Camaro it is uh, LT based stock based engine uh, it is sleeved it's got twin Garrett turbochargers in the grill air to water but still got a lot of the amenities um, full interior car got the factory seats in roll cage got a harness over there on that side that's a parachute lever there but as you can see guys not gutted by any means 3900 pound car Got a G-Force 9-inch in the back, turbo 400 transmission from RPM Transmissions. Got the ice tank back here for the air-to-water parachute, motion raceworks parachute mount. One thing we did add uh, for this event, for the car actually, is we did the motion raceworks. Uh, we did a bump-in button, and then that's going to be our scramble button. We haven't got the scramble hooked up yet, but 
check those things out. They work on the factory wheel. They're made specifically for 6th Gen Camaro, and they give it a nice factory look. I don't like the look of aftermarket steering wheels in these cars. I wanted to keep the stock ones, so looks real nice. Complements the factory interior very well. See the turbos there. Got the air to water right up front, too. Got a Frankenstein build intake, CID heads, worked over by LME, and we have a late model engines uh, sleeved 390 cubic inch stock stroke LT4 engine in there. But we're still running DI, still, and then we added the port injection via the Holly. Uh, so it is still a factory DI injected car as well. But pretty simple combo, really, guys. Nothing, nothing too crazy that we uh, did with Nemo stock manifolds into the turbo kit. Stock radiator, stock trans cooler, stock fans, a lot of uh, basic stuff on this thing. Okay, so we have a GTR here. Um, I raced him at FL2K and, and lost. I blew the tires off out where I had a bad lawn, one of the two. And he's here tonight, and his best is like 750. My best is 750, and we're going to do a grudge race. We're going to do a best two out of three. I'm going to do a sportsman tree on one of the races and then a pro tree on the other race, which is what I'm used to. He's used to a sportsman tree. So uh, we had to turn Nemo down quite a bit on the launch just to get to go A to B, but I still think we can probably run a 7-something. Uh, but we're getting ready to run our first race right now. The GTR is wicked. Uh, so let's go check it out and uh, get this race going. All right, so this is the GTR we just raced. It's freaking wicked. Okay, so we just ran that race, and uh, man, I thought I had him beat the whole way down the track, and it was so close to the end. He just barely passed me at the end. I mean, a bumper. And uh, so it was a good race. Uh, I treat him, and uh, I went a 794 to his 784, I believe. We literally had the same exact 60 foot. Um, pretty wicked car. That is a wicked GTR by CCO. Uh, but we're gonna do a two out three. That was on the Sportsman Tree. So the next race is in my advantage with the pro tree. So we'll see what happens on the next race. We might be racing three times, who knows. All right, so we're getting ready to run the second pass of this best two out of three with the GTR behind me. This thing's wicked fast. I think we got a, I think we got a fuel pump or something going out on Nemo. It's, he's uh, losing some fuel pressure up top. We haven't added any boost to it from the previous times we've been running. So I think it's been, it's been there for three years now. So we really can't complain, but uh, Probably gonna have to drop the tank and uh, check the fuel pumps once we get back to Kansas City. But uh, we're gonna run this best two out of three and see what happens. This time's gonna be on a pro tree. Okay, so just got done with that race, and man, Nemo's just down on power. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, Inside the car going down the track, it sounds like maybe it's a it's a boost leak of some sort, maybe on the hot side. Um, I looked at the data log, the, the fueling's actually good. We added fuel the last pass. The fueling looked good. Everything looked good on the data log. It just, you can see where the boost was just down. So gotta get that checked out guys and uh, see what's going on. But hopefully we can get this thing figured out for TX2K coming up. We got the car to leave, it leaves great. Uh, yeah, good races with the GTR. The last race is obviously better. Uh, got a really good light on that pass, so I think if we would have been able to run the same pass we did the first time, cutting that light, I think we would have probably been able to almost beat him to the stride. But it's racing, guys. Uh, now we'll get Nemo back to field performance and uh, see what's going on with him. Hopefully it's something easy and we can fix it within the next couple weeks. Gosh dang, 
I think I got an issue. I it broke up a little yeah, more. Like, yeah, like no, it's it's down. Yeah. Like going down the track, I was like, this thing feels like a turd. Really? And I was just watching <laughs> you drive out of my life. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Well, I've had the same pass I had last pass That's what I was with saying. that light. That have been, I think that I could have beat you this Dude, track. that was a damn good light. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to I looked at the down. dialogue though. The fuel's good. Okay. I think it's, the boost is down. I think oh, it's got man. like a, maybe a wastegate or a crack in the hot side somewhere. Yeah, damn. Oh, Off the yellow cam. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That good was good race though, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for doing it. Now I owe you some money in a few <laughs> Love it. All right. Now that was fun. We did get to run a seven side yes, by side. So that was cool.